So let's think about how we communicate with guests. What are the ways and the levels at which you interact with the customers of your specific properties? I'm going to suggest to you that there are three separate and distinct levels at which we interact. What most organizations have done is to lump these together and say it's customer service or it's the guest experience. I want you to think about these separately. Segregate them and think about how we can improve in each of these three levels. And then understand as well that they are progressive. So in other words, if you don't get level one right, then your activity levels two and three really don't have traction for the guest. Level one is processing. Processing consists of the elements that I have a right to expect because I chose to stay with you as opposed to the other alternatives. There are certain things that a customer has a right to expect, and these have to be delivered flawlessly every time. Guests do not want you to make it right. Guests want you to get it right. Getting it right is performing with relentless execution at level one. So for an example, I, I flew here on Delta Airlines. Anybody else fly Delta to get here by any chance? A few of you? Okay. Would we have bought tickets from them if they said, Delta, we don't crash often? Right? I bought a ticket to Cancun, not a chance to Cancun. So safety is part of the deal, right? I mean, that should not be an issue about whether it's, it, it, it happens all the time or not, consistency there has to be 100%. If that doesn't go right, nothing else matters. But yet Harvard Business Review recently wrote that only 16% of organizations have the list at level one of the non-negotiable. What do you have to execute at that nothing else matters as far as the guest is concerned? Now, once you've achieved that, you move to level two. Level two is service. Service consists, in this definition, my definition of it, service are those activities we undertake to make processing more efficient, more enjoyable, more palatable to the customer. So I'm flying in here, and the flight attendant stops my aisle and smiles a sincere smile and hands me a hot cup of coffee, asks me how my day is going. Is that customer service? Of course. Notice, if the plane is flying in the ground, I don't care how hot my coffee is. Service only has traction at level two after you've executed at level one. But then after we do that, there is a third and higher level, and that's the experience. The experience adds the elements of personalization and emotion. What separates customer service from the customer experience is the addition of the elements of personalization and emotion. So the more that you make it personal, the more that you create those emotional connections that you talked about earlier, that is the element of the experience. So, so how do we personalize when we have lots of guests? Well, there's an example that I'm going to use from right here at this stage. I posted that online yesterday. You can't believe the number of responses I got from people going, that is the coolest thing. Your shampoo bottle has your name on it? There are so many ways that we can find to personalize. The question is, will you do it?